Now you know about Pebble Beach because you've seen it on TV. You know all about the history there. What you don't know is right down the street from Pebble Beach is this place. This is Monterey Peninsula Country Club. And my buddy Rick Connolly happens to be a member here. And I've been very fortunate to play here a few times. This golf course has got more oceanfront holes than Pebble Beach. And this par three is out of this world. It is on the dunes course. There's 36 holes here. About a 200 yard shot from this tee box back in the rocks. And you have to play it out over the ocean because the wind comes in from the right to the left. So here's the shot right here. And this guy here actually has a club and he's gonna give it a try. Now these guys are doing what a lot of people do. It's on 17 mile drive of this hole. So they quickly jump out of their car, grab a club, hit one shot just so they can play, say they played the hole, and then they jump in their car and take off. But 17 mile drive, Monterey Peninsula Country Club, the hidden gem here right down the street from Pebble Beach. Now the biggest crowds at any US Open, at least in the last 20 years, are of course for Tiger Woods. And this year is no different. Tiger on 17. He is marching down with his final round red shirt. He's one under for the day and one under for the tournament. So there will be no Masters slash combo US Open Championship for Tiger Woods, but plenty of folks here to cheer him on at the 2019 US Open. So you want to go to a future US Open? Well, here are the sites for the next few years. Of course, this year we're at Pebble Beach, a tremendous shot there of the par three seventh hole and the waves crashing the rocks. As we told you in our round three report, next year, 2020, Mamaroneck, New York, Wingfoot, just outside of New York City. In 2021, it's back to the West Coast and uh, recognize those cliffs, that is Torrey Pines right there in San Diego. 2022, it's to Boston, the country club there in Boston. 2023, back to the West Coast and the Los Angeles Country Club. You see the skyline of LA in the background. 2024, Pinehurst number two, the famous site of the Payne Stewart. Putt on the 18th hole to win there. 2025, Oakmont, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You see the famous church pew bunkers there. And in 2026, it's Shinnecock, where it was in 2018 on Long Island. And then in 2027, right back here to Pebble Beach. So there you are, 2019 through 2027. You can get your tickets like one year in advance. So mark it on your calendar if you want to come to a future U.S. Open. Now, while we were in Pebble Beach, this is where we stayed at my friend Mark Heinold's, a monster 36-foot Greyhound bus camper. And guess what? Right next door to us was Jason Day. That's right, Jason Day staying at the campground. He lives in Columbus, Ohio. You know, he's married, got a couple kids, and this is his rig. He's not in today, but that's what Jason Day travels the PGA Tour in, that real nice fifth wheel trailer. And it's a monster and it's a beauty as well. So now we know we're rubbing elbows with the PGA Tour at a campground. Well, they say at the Masters that the tournament really starts on the back nine on the final day of the Masters. Well, if it's true here at Pebble Beach, things have gotten very interesting because here we are on the 13th hole, and you see Brooks Kepka, the two-time defending champion, his creep within one shot of the lead of Gary Woodland. What's gonna happen down the stretch? Gonna be great. <laughs> Gary Woodland with four feet on 14 for birdie to extend his lead to two shots. The crowd will tell you if he makes it. It's good. And a two shot lead with four to play. to play.
another par. He's up two with two to play. Awesome save by Gary Woodland on 17. He's going to stroll down 18 with a two shot lead. He's on his way to his first major championship. And it's transcended to today. And that's, it all kind of came out of me. I never let myself get ahead all day today. Just kept telling myself, you know, it's never over. It's never over. It's never over. When that last putt went in, it kind of all came out. Um, like I was more nervous afterwards than I was at all today. So it was, uh, I'm glad it's over. We put a lot of work in this year and, and becoming a more complete player and I can play different golf courses. I mean, people probably growing up said the U.S. Open wouldn't suit me because I'm, you know, I'm a long hitter. I'm a bomber. Um, coming to Pebble Beach. On top of that, it's a shorter golf course, and um, you know, went out and, and proved, I think, to everybody else what I always believe that uh, I'm pretty good. So, congratulations to Gary Woodland, the 2019 U.S. Open champion here at Pebble Beach. We hope you enjoyed the videos we brought you here from Pebble Beach. And if you'd like to see more of what's happening in the world of golf, click on that subscribe page here on the Rick Zurek Buffalo Golf page, and I'll keep bringing you the best in golf. As we say goodbye, another look at this iconic seventh green here at Pebble Beach. What a wonderful, wonderful place. We hope you enjoyed it. So long from Pebble Beach. With a score of 271, <laughs> yeah. the Jack Nicklaus Gold Medal for the winner of the 119th U.S. Open goes to Gary Woodland of Topeka, Kansas. <laughs>